Well, alrighty, so hello fellow tank mates. It's Friday about noon here in Palm Desert, California. This is Ron, Garage Aquatics 2023. Um, I've had a bit of a quandary going on here. Let me share it with you. This is one of my 20 gallons along the bottom of this rack. This one on the end, it's uh, red cherry shrimp. The one with the little Nemo planter in here is uh, orange sun-kissed Neocaridinas with uh, a couple autosynclus. I'm going to skip this tank because that's when we're coming back to. This tank is some mixed cherries, uh, some clear ones, some uh, red ones, and these wild type mollies out of the Colorado River. And then this tank here on the end are uh, seven Mickey Mouse platies. There's four of the yellowy ones and four, of the, I'm sorry, three of those and four of the orangey ones. All right. But this here's the tank. This one's full of Blue Dream Neo Caradina. There are seven Pandacories and two little Plecos uh, of whatever species I know. And then there's plants. And it's just sand on the bottom, I believe, is all I put in this one. It's been a while now. And there's a couple of those Lobelia cardinalis and some uh, um, Hydrocotyl Japan. It's that little clovery looking leafed one. I really like those. And then there's some uh, red root floaters. And there's also some Java fern floating around. And there might even be a little, little tiny crypt or two in the back that I planted. And just a little sponge filter. Right, one of the small ones. And this tank's been really cloudy for a while. Uh, it just got that way all of a sudden. And uh, last two weeks in a row, I did 50% water changes, and that's about what I'm doing now. Maybe a little more, but about 50%. And, uh, and it's staying cloudy. And then I, was, I started to watch a video uh, on YouTube, a young lady talking about why is your aquarium cloudy, and I just couldn't sit through the whole thing. I'm going to have to go back and, and check it out when I've got the time. It was long. Um, that doesn't mean it's not good. She probably got really good content there. Um, and I don't remember her name, but thank God for history. Um, so it occurred to me, though, and you know, after watching MD Fish Tanks in the past, I remember him saying something, maybe a couple times, that, you know, when the tank gets cloudy, it's because you've had a bacteria die off. Uh, and I think he's mentioned that, you know, he does fish in cycles, and so do I. Uh, and he's mentioned um, putting, you know, uh, he uses API products in their quick start in before the fish, and there's nothing for the bacteria to live off, so you, they die off and you get a cloudy situation. Well, I got um, lots of stuff for, you know, creating creating waste. There's There's got to be easily 100 plus little blue dream shrimp in here plus the the seven eight nine fish i mentioned uh but there's plants there's not a lot of uh heavy root feeders like a lot of bigger crypts or anything like that um i think i need to put some in here but anyway and the sponge filter was like i i cleaned it out and it was you know looked like a, a cup of really strong espresso so i rinsed that out and put it back in the tank i hated doing it because uh there was a java fern and that hydrocotyl was actually rooted into the sponge and oh no but anyway i just sort of wrapped them back around it and they'll be fine they'll, they'll root back in um so this time after i put the water back in i'm going to add some api quick start i think that's what it's called isn't it yeah something like that it's up there um and I'll add a, you know, however much it says for this 20 gallon size tank. And next week we'll see if it's any different. So anyway, and then with this water that I've got here that I've taken out of the tank, I've got these uh, three hang on back filters, the aqua, what are they called? Aqua clear? Yeah, aqua clear. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what size, they're the smaller ones. And I've got this uh, filter floss rolled up in these, and they're absolutely filthy. So, and they're getting ready to overflow. Another one. Um, the third one's okay. I, I don't need to worry about that. Uh, it turns out all this extra sludge that comes up in these is from this salt cedar 
or tamarisk and it's a soft wood and I think from I've got four pretty good sized plecos in here plecosauruses there's one um, and uh, they chew on this wood and so I don't know if it's just you know the remnants from them chewing or the remnants from them chewing and their poop but anyway and there's heavier feeders in here there's some crypts there's a couple really big Amazon sorts, so the water stays really nice and clear, but we just get a lot of garbage in those. So I'm just gonna rinse the filter media out, that floss, that spun Dacron or whatever it is, in that water I took out of uh, this 20 gallon. And then I will use that to water the plants. Don't waste your fish tank water. Use it for something good. So anyway, thanks for watching.